We've got breaking news from the College Board on the SAT essay, the subject test, and more. The fun just never ends in the world of college test prep. Hey guys, it's Jen, I'm a test prep tutor, and today I wanted to pop in here to share with you some updates from the College Board that are fresh off the press. Before you guys get into a panic or you get confused because there are so many news articles being written as we speak, I just wanted to share with you everything I know so far to hopefully provide some clarity into the changes that are coming your way. So the first big change that is coming is College Board decided that they are going to drop their SAT subject tests. If you're not familiar with these, these are one hour long exams that students can choose to take in a variety of subject areas, ranging from the hard sciences to history to a whole host of foreign languages. The purpose of these exams is really to help students showcase their strengths, especially if their strengths are in subject areas that align with the major that they are trying to pursue in college. Now, if you're thinking, wait a minute, isn't that the purpose of AP exams? You would be correct. And that is the primary reason that the College Board has decided to do away with these exams altogether. In my opinion, this is a long time coming. I never really understood why these exams were necessary in the first place because AP exams do such a good job of letting colleges know about the students' academic abilities. Even when I did receive tutoring requests for subject tests, I would often ask the student to consider if they need tutoring, then maybe that's not the best test for them. Because again, the whole purpose of these exams was to showcase your strengths and the subjects that you naturally gravitate towards. So to this change, I say good riddance. It's about time we dropped it. The second major change is in relation to the SAT essay. When you take the SAT, there is an optional essay portion. Now I say optional because depending on the schools you're applying to, you may or may not need to take the essay. And if you do decide to take it, it adds about 50 minutes to your exam length. When the current SAT format was introduced back in 2016, the Ivy Leagues were split right down the middle. Some decided that they did require the essay and others really didn't care. And this same sentiment was reflected across all colleges and universities in the state. Over the years, interest in the essay portion has continued to dwindle. And at this point, College Board just decided that it was best to drop the option altogether. My personal feelings towards this change is a little bit more nuanced. On the one hand, I do understand the trend, right? If colleges don't care so much about the score, then it doesn't make sense to burden students with the option. On the other hand, I was quite partial to this current SAT essay format, especially in comparison to the essay that I took over 10 years ago on my own SAT. The current essay is a rhetorical analysis, which really focuses on your ability to analyze an author's argument and it tests your ability to formulate logical ideas. Colleges and the College Board decided that they have a myriad of other ways to assess a student's writing ability, so this is not really worth the time. Well, while I do agree with this, I also think there is value to be gained from assessing a student's writing skill in a more controlled format. But you guys, I'm just the messenger. From this point on, the SAT essay is no more, so you guys can all breathe a sigh of relief. The third and last major change here is a move towards a quote, more flexible, streamlined, and digitally driven exam. Now, we don't have a lot of information on this. It looks like College Board will be sharing more details later in the spring, maybe in the April or May timeframe. As of now, it looks like College Board is investing quite heavily into digitizing the exam. I'll definitely do my best to stay on top of this and I will let you guys know if there are any new information. In the meantime, by removing the subject tests, I think they are hoping that they can accommodate more SAT test takers. College Board may also add a couple more off-cycle test days, just like they did last year in the fall, to accommodate as many SAT test takers as possible. So next, I wanna share how all of this might be relevant to you and any logistics you should be considering. So the first is, if you did register for an upcoming subject test, College Board will automatically cancel your exam and refund you. If you've already taken this test and you already have some scores on hand, it will be really smart to reach out to the schools individually on your list to see their individual policies, 
for how to handle subject test scores. College Board apparently has given that responsibility to individual colleges so they can decide what to do with those tests. For my international students, I did not forget about you. If you're international currently, because the subject test serves a wider variety of purposes for you guys, College Board did decide that they will continue to administer these tests in May and June of this year, 2021. So again, if you're international, you can still take the subject test in May or June of this year. Next, let's talk about the essay. If you have registered for an exam with the essay, you can cancel the essay portion free of charge at any point. The essay will continue to be offered as part of this test through June of 2021. After that point, only schools in states that mandates the SAT essay as a part of their school day administration will have access to this part of the exam. All right, guys, that's all the information I have so far. If you found the video helpful, do give it a thumbs up. It helps it get discovered in the YouTube algorithm. Do share this video with your friends. Of all the videos on my channel, this is one that would really benefit other people so that they can be in the loop as well. If you want to support my channel, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.